what's up guys we are back here with another auction walk around got a lot of cars here today guys and it's looking like a good set of cars so let's just get right into it man if you're new to the channel be sure to like comment and subscribe if you are a subscriber already you already know what to do alrighty guys first up on the list we have a freaking 1995 um, we have a 95 Honda Civic Del Sol or Del Sol or rather wow this is like one of those uh one of those Hondas that everybody wants Cause it's already got like the race hood and stuff it looked like it got got headers and everything so let's try to pop this thing open really quick and see what we got under here look like we got some little headers or something under here so this is the race one that everybody wants guys and it does have those really cool race um latches on the hood this one says manual trans no computer in it so um, i doubt it starts but it has 121,000 miles let me just take a quick walk around this joint it looks really good i mean for the year let's pop a door open if we can see this door here it's hard to open there so let's take a walk around and look through this side oh it does look really good in here seems pretty fair nothing at all that really stands out it is a manual of course seems pretty fair We've got a little speaker missing back there that side never been in one of these cars looks pretty neat what do you guys think about the 95 or 94 yeah the 95 deal so let me know in the comments below We've got a 2003 ford focus here 91,000 miles manual transmission first glance it's looking really good i mean i don't see anything that really stands out other than a little paint chip right there we'll swing it back on this side looks really good uh, got some tape and some weather stripping uh, coming back a little bit nothing too crazy the inside actually looks really good if you take a look at the seat here it's the gray like cloth like stick shift it has the aftermarket radio which is upside down so who knows if it works or not you got the plugs down there in the back does it actually doesn't even look like a ford focus in here that's what's crazy so maybe a good car i'm sure i'm sure it runs however you're gonna need new tires there those tires are really whooped as soon as you drive off in this thing it's gonna be like it's a wrap so be careful with that but that may be a good buy as well all righty we got a 2004 chrysler sleep sebring with only 98,000 miles this one has a blown head gasket oh blown head gasket guys and no key here so um i don't know if i doubt it I'm, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure this one will go straight to the junkyard and it'll sell for like 200 bucks probably even like 150 i mean the interior is pretty fair uh, nothing too crazy going on there but it does have a blown head gasket so oh it has the aloha hawaii sticker so this one might have came from you know kailua or something yeah you guys didn't know i knew about kailua huh <laughs> yes sir let's see all righty we have a 2001 chevy tahoe here 235,000 miles uh we got a little whammage here we got some some stuff hanging over there if we swing it this way okay so this is where the initial hit took place they hit it right here Woo. messed all this up and it was a green car wow it was a green car that did the damage, but it doesn't look too bad. I know you can get these parts from the junkyard for really cheap and really easy. Um, if we take a look inside, the seat is wood like a dog, like Chico from Friday. Yeah, it looked like Chico didn't got a hold of these seats, man. You ain't got no radio. That seat is whooped. You got the tan interior. You guys know what I say about the tan interior. It never fails every time. It's the dirtiest of the dirtiest, so. You guys want to know why it's the dirtiest of the dirtiest i think because like the tan interior is not really like what everybody wants so like you know it's the cheapest car on the lot when you go to get it but i mean you got a little whammage there 235,000 miles guys 
just at a, over a quarter of a million, well, just under a quarter of a million, rather. Um, what'd I say? I don't know, it's kind of hot out here. Just, yeah, just under a quarter of a million. But yeah, what do you guys think about this, man? How much do you think it'll go for? And if you can uh, fix it up, how much do you think it'll sell for? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, this thing is nice here. It's a 91 Chrysler New Yorker. This reminds me of like Home Alone days type. It looks really good, guys, really, really good. Let's just take a quick look at the inside first. Wow, this thing is like a classic, guy. Like, it don't even, I can actually sit in this thing. That's, like, that's what's crazy. Because, like, most old cars, man, I couldn't even sit in. It's just, like, either dirty or just too worn. And this thing looked like it's just been sitting up in the garage or something for all the years. Like, it's still got cassette players and stuff in the back, man. That's crazy. And this thing, this is some comfortable, like, couch interior. I really like this one. The top is in great condition, man. This is a... Chrysler New Yorker, as I mentioned before, really low in mileage, man. This thing could, probably could have been on the movie Casino, and it does have some really nice hubcaps. So, man, I think this one is a really good looking car, man. Let's check out this engine. Ooh. Wow, you can't get no cleaner than that on one of these type of cars, guys. That's crazy. And this one came out of Detroit, Michigan. You got a little piece of history right here, guys. What do you guys think about the Chrysler New Yorker? Let me know in the comments below. We got a 99 Saab here. This one has no spark, 155,000 miles. You got a dummy tire on the back. Uh, paint is faded on the hood a little bit. Uh, you got a little side mirror cover over there missing. Paint faded on the top. We take a peek in the inside. It's really hot already, man. It just looks whooped down there. Seats look like Chico got them. Uh, yeah, the ignition looks kind of kind of whooped. Yeah, this is just the all-in-all -all whooped sob, guys. This is nothing I would bring to New York. You guys know uh, it's like the paid-in-full joint, but the four-door version. Nah, this one's a little bit newer than that. But you guys get what I'm trying to say. But I mean, the body does look pretty fair. But the inside is just whooped, guy. Just whoop. You just take a look at the top. All that sunburn. Got a little woo damage here in the, in the front there. All in all, I guess pretty fair. Pretty decent. I'm sure it'll go for like 250 though. We got a 2003 Nissan Altima with 206,000 miles. This one has a blown head gasket. A lot of paint blemishes here and there. You guys, I haven't said that in a while. 206 on the dash. You guys get the idea of the paint, but I mean the inside, I mean, it's, it's dirty, but it does look pretty fair. The seats and stuff is like, you just, you gotta just see what type of, look at that handle, boy. That thing, look all that built up dirt but yeah you guys see it does look it's cleanable the seats back there look whooped and dirty but it's definitely cleanable you guys can just see all that gunk and stuff built up seems pretty legit though like no body damage you got a little a little wave effect on this side i ain't gonna lie it's a lot of wave effect in this door. I don't know what happened there. Missing door handle there. It's like all these Altimas nowadays, they're starting to miss door handles. So you gotta freaking, uh, I don't know what you gotta do. You gotta freaking reinforce the uh, the joint. Bumper push in there. Blown head gasket though, so I didn't even read that out. It's not a long time ago. Alrighty guys, we got a 2005 Ford 500. We actually uh, saw this in an auction a few weeks ago here. You guys remember this? It had a tequila kick here. This one actually sold for like 350. And I'm like, I was kind of mad it sold because so I would have hopped on it because I remember, if I remember right, the inside was really good looking. No freaking like crazy blemishes. It was really clean. Like look at the seats. It is a tan, you guys know I say stay away from tan, but hey, when it's just clean like this, I wouldn't mind it. So, 
this one actually sold for 350 and i hope it sells for 350 again so we'll see how this one goes see they they tend to put them in the front now if they don't if they don't sell at the first auction they'll put them in the front of the list because this one actually was like one of the last cars and most of the people were gone and i was just asleep on the deal but you got a little tequila kick there you guys remember this it has code ac man so we'll have to check this one out and see what it goes for this time around Alrighty, guys we have a 97 toyota avalon here um this one actually has 146,000 miles got a little paint chip on the bumper and stuff here got a little tequila kick in the headlight there uh, you're gonna need some hubcaps for those wheels it does have a code ac got some little duct tape here broken rod so you're gonna have a problem with your steering at least they told me unlike the last auction i got the whip from but you guys see i don't know if that's broken or not yeah that's broken but the inside does look pretty whooped this avalon looked like it went from like avalon to freaking the east coast you guys know what avalon i'm talking about i'm talking about la los angeles california from south central to the east coast and ended up back in the desert after they went this thing is freaking whooped you got a tequila kick in the bumper there um, but I mean, it could be clean. I'm not gonna lie. It could be cleaned up and refreshed up. Get some fresh little headlights and stuff and bumper. And this could honestly be a pretty decent car. Hey guys, we got a 2000 Ford Focus here with 110,000 miles. This is the four door. We seen the two door earlier. This is the four door. We got a little wham here. A little whammage, nothing crazy at all. It, look, it does look really good. And the mileage is really low for this vehicle. So I'm sure this will be a good car. The inside looks really great. You can clean the mats up, throw them in the uh, in a coin laundry or something. But I mean, the seats and everything, the interior looks really good on this car. I don't see anything that stands out to me. It's not automatic windows. Oh, and you do have a little, little whammage attempted fix here in the back. Nothing too crazy. You can probably still sell it just like it is. Get some new hubcaps for it and it'll be good as new. But this side doesn't look bad at all. It actually looks pretty good. This side actually might've been painted over. It looks like you got some orange peel there more than anywhere else on the car. But all in all, it looks pretty fair. What do you guys think? It looks pretty fair to me. I think it's legit. We have a 2009 Hyundai Accent here with 113,000 miles. The color on this thing is really outstanding. I like the color a lot, it stands out. 113,000 miles, five speed manual transmission. Oh yeah, the inside on this thing looks really, really good, guys. If you guys just feel this, if you can feel this right now, it looks like, it feels like it's a new car, like it's a rental car type. Like it even has, this vehicle is equipped with airbags. So this, I'm pretty sure, I don't know about the manual trans, but this does seem like it could be a cool rental car or like Turo car or something like that. So if you guys are wondering why I really haven't bought anything, I'm really trying to find something new so I can like Toro it out and then make some money while I'm like still trying to make money. So like I'm just saving up right now, guys, but I won't be saving for too long. You guys have been helping me out getting these ads paid for and YouTube is going to be paying us any day now. So we should be getting something new here pretty soon, guys. So thanks for watching in the meantime, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, next up, we have a 2006 Toyota Corolla here. Ma another manual trans. Wow. We got a lot of manual transmissions here this week, guys. This one has 162,000 miles. It does look really good. I don't see any blemishes that stand out to me so far. Seems pretty legit. You got that click, click, click sound up in here. You're going to have to vacuum this thing out. Um, you need a radio. It's really hot in here guys and you're gonna need some tin or something a really good scrubbing because this thing is filthy on the inside this thing is filthy on the inside so it may sell pretty cheap and we may be able to get it <laughs> that's what i'm talking about it's like the worse the car looks is better for me so i'm betting on this thing will go oh it's a manual trans i forgot i guess I, it's a time to learn a, how to drive a stick shift what do you guys think should i 
try to bid on it and what should I bid up to? What would you bid up to? That's the better question. Let me know. I definitely will respond. Alrighty guys, we got a 96. We got a 96 C-Class Mercedes. Man. Yeah, when this thing first came out, I can only imagine how clean this thing was. Because, I mean, right now, it looks pretty decent. It has a little sunburn on the paint. Little sunburn on the paint. It has 168,000 miles. It has these nice staggered uh, Mercedes Benz wheels, like AMG, I guess, style. Let's check out the inside. It has the black leather. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing was really nice when it came out, man. I wish I could just rewind time and just see, like, the reaction. Like, I would get riding around my city in one of these at that time. Like, that's crazy. I could only imagine. I could only imagine. So, like, that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to get the newest bins or whatever and see what we could do. But that's, you know, further more to come. Further more to come seats is uh pretty whooped but i mean all in all it's a pretty fair bands for the year it's all right it's definitely all right what you guys think all righty guys we got an acura cl here this one is actually a uh a 1997 this one has 210,000 miles you got some sunburn on the hood here sunburn on the roof uh, if we take a quick peek around back got some paint chipping paint fading i'm sure this thing will go really really cheap i don't think you can put hubcaps on here so you probably just gotta find the centers some centers for this wheel oh we got another manual transmission like i told you this is the week of the manual trans here at the uh auction you got a bunch of coins and stuff so you can actually probably make some of your money back on most of these coins and pennies and stuff in here because guys i've been saving up a lot of coins in those uh, little buckets and stuff and man let me tell you it actually adds up but the inside of this car is pretty wood man you're gonna need like too much work done to this thing just to make it like look like something that you want but I don't know somebody might like it somebody might like it what you guys think man how much you think it'll sell for let me know in the comments below Alrighty, we have a 2002 Chrysler Sebring here with 163,000 miles. The freaking has some sunburn there. It's got rims on it, uh, no centers for the front, so you probably it's gonna be hard to make it look good with those centers different. The top is pretty whipped. You got some rips and tears there. We'll just take a swing round back really quick. In the back, I mean. It looks kind of big to me. I know it is the drop top, but man, that's just a long freaking back right there. It will be a uh, swing to the inside. You guys see you got some rips and tears there. The dash looks, I mean, I guess fairly decent. Then if we take a look at this passenger seat, it is uh, in pretty good condition, I can say. The back does look pretty decent. I don't see any rips on the uh, top of the thing because I always wondered, actually, I can see the rip through there, so water is definitely gonna poke through when it rains, so I definitely don't want that. But if you guys can swap that top out, <coughs> you can let me know. No centers on this. Yeah, you're gonna have to find new centers and all that. So this one actually is gonna to be too much to even get it back looking right. I wouldn't bid on it, but if you would bid on it, let me know how much you would bid up to on that thing. We actually got an 01 Mustang here. Got a little tequila kit here in the front. See, it's always the Mustangs guy. This one has 41,000 miles, wow. They must have been storing this thing for freaking decades. This one is looking really nice on the inside. It has the nice tan interior does look pretty good in here guy can't even front seems pretty fair looks like they might have had a dog up in here or something it's a lot of little uh dog hair i guess but it does look really clean this is probably the cleanest mustang i've seen interior wise um in a while we got a freaking malibu 
2006 Malibu with 90,000 miles gold in color doesn't look too bad you're gonna need some hubcaps there wow this seat is freaking black yeah see I told you about that tan interior like this thing is just so wood look at all that dirt just piled up just piled up just dirt that's crazy that seat is just dirty as heck whooped I mean I'm sure this thing will go cheap if it goes cheap man I wouldn't mind giving it some of my cleaning power but it's gonna be a task that's for sure definitely gonna be a task you got a lot of trash back there yeah I don't know what that is it just looks so nasty in here but that's that tan for you no. Oh. I didn't even peep this right here. You got a little woo whammage there, guys. I didn't even peep that. So, boom. I'm glad I looked back at it because look. Now, that's actually going to be a downer right there. I mean, it'll be. It shouldn't matter. I mean, if it goes for cheap, but still, that's going to be a downer. Going to need a tail light on this side. This side actually looks pretty good. But yeah, I didn't even see that in the door. I'm glad I looked back. Glad I looked back, guy. Alrighty, we got a 2004 Audi A4 here with 202,000 miles. It does have a little whammage there on the front. You're missing some grill inserts there. Uh, 202,000 on the dash, man. I'm sure this thing is gonna go pretty, pretty cheap. The door is like, it's like hard to even open. Tight. Um, I never really seen that before. That's different. Um, but if we take a look at the inside, it does have the black leather in here. Um, I mean, it looks pretty legit. There's nothing that really stands out. The leather actually looks really good in here. The interior looks really good. So this might be a good running car. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what this one is going for. Definitely a contender. Definitely a contender. And it is the 3.00. We got a little whammage back here. We got a little whammage, guys. Got a little bit pushed in, but it shouldn't be a biggie at all because we can actually pull that out really easy. And the AC is cold on this one. It is cold. We'll probably find these little parts if we need be at the uh, junkyard, which shouldn't be a problem at all. Alrighty. We got a 2001 Honda Accord rebuilt title. This one has 198,000 miles. You got some sunburn here on the front and a little tequila kick there. Uh, yeah, you got some stuff going on the back. Let's take a swing back there before we hop in the car. You've been missing a window there, so that's, they probably stole it. Uh, you got a huge, huge tequila kick there. A lot of whammage there in the tail light. Might as well just get a new one. Um, the door is pretty broken. It has that tan interior, guys. I told you, every tan interior. But I mean, this one, it does look pretty decent. It is pretty fair. No radio, though, of course. Um, I mean, it does look really good. However, it is a rebuilt title. So like selling this thing is gonna be not hard, but you won't get the bang for your buck, that's for sure. That's for sure. You definitely got some wave effect on the, on the back here. And that side, I mean, it looks, looks pretty decent i guess all righty this is going to be what's going to be driving the people here this week guys this is a 2004 porsche kind with 255,000 miles guys this thing is going to go for a pretty cheap price you got a little whammage there in the front um it looked like it hit something because that's pretty bent up front okay we'll swing back that way but before we actually get to the car we'll just check out the motor really quick I mean, it does look pretty fair. It says it has low compression. So the motor may be going bad on this car, which may be good for me. It'll be good for the channel to see what's up with this car. It's locked in the inside. Oh, actually, no, it's not locked. So we'll just take a look at the back here. The back, it looked like a bunch of kids was back here. They bust the back window out. Wow. They bust that back window out. Then the headrest on this front seat is gone. Um, looks pretty, leather looks pretty wood. Look at that steering wheel, it's just, just worn out. Definitely can see it's a 2004. Definitely was a smoker in here. But, 
I mean, if you clean it up really nice and get all the parts and stuff, you may have something good on your here on your hands. But like they said, it's oh there goes the uh, headrest. Like they said, it's low compression, so it is what it is. That front door is not open. So the police actually might have took this one, and this is the S version with the uh, tow hitch there on the back. This side actually looks pretty good, but at two, about a quarter million miles, guys. It's like, what are you really gonna spend on it? Excuse me. Seems pretty legit. What do you guys think about the Porsche? Let me know in the comments below, man. That's what's gonna drive everybody here and gonna raise up the price. We got a 2002 Saturn S series here. This one has 156,000 miles. We just take a look at this side. We see it, some tape in some areas. We got some tape holding this light together. We got a little reflector light there. Had a lot of tape over here, so I'm sure this one doesn't have a window. Yeah, this window is definitely broken over here. 156,000 miles. We just take a quick peek at the inside. I mean, it does look fairly good in here. I don't see anything that stands out that tells me this would be uh, not a decent car to get. I mean, you don't have an armrest, but that's not a big deal. If you clean this thing out really good, oh, you just see the back, it does look dirty. But was a smoker in the back seat. They dropped everything out of Swisher. Wow. Hear all that glass in the door still. I'm sure this thing will go pretty cheap. Yeah, this thing will go really, really cheap, guys. Really, really cheap. What do you guys think about the Saturn? I know I don't really care for Saturn, but what do you think about the Saturn? That's what I want to know. Got a 93 Chevy C1500 here. 84,000 miles. It's missing the bumper here. You got some rims on it. it might be like some 22s or something. They look kind of tiny. And the paint is not that great. It says a uh, broken steering column. No key. So they probably tried to uh, steal this car. It does have tape and stuff on the steering column wires and stuff showing um actually they have seats from oh no i know this middle seat is like different this isn't even from this truck all this interior is from a newer truck except for the dash there of course but the seats is from a newer truck seems like got some parts and stuff in the back there i mean the truck i mean body wise seems like it's in pretty decent condition we do have the tow hitch there Missing a part in the bumper there. We're gonna need new tires if you want to keep these rims. But this paint actually looks just spray painted, so. And me personally, I'm not a fan of it, but if you guys like it, let me know in the comments below. Ooh, a 2003 Kia Sereno. This one has 232,000 miles. This one actually might be able to go for cheap. It's a four by four. Is the four by four. 232,000 miles inside looks really really good I guess uh, for a tan interior a few little rips here and there but um I mean it's a 4x4 truck guys so you can literally off-road this joint it does have the sunroof and if we take a peek down here it's nothing that really stands out to me it seems like it'll be a pretty legit truck though Pretty clean SUV. Let's take a peek at the back. And this is the EX model. So this is really what I'm fan I'm a fan of, guys. Like this type of these type of cars, like bigger type cars, you know? Stuff like this. So we'll see. I really like that one, man. I really, really like it. Oh, we got the van back. 1982 Ford Ecoline. 89,000 miles, no spark. I think we uh, we might have seen this one at the last auction, maybe. Okay, that door is locked, but if we, oh wow. Look at the engine, right by your toes. That's crazy. Oh, it's missing this whole piece right here. So I'm guessing they was probably fixing the motor or something. Uh, it was like a handicapped man who was driving it because you see he has the uh, thing hooked up to the pedal. That's different. If you just take a look back there, you got a, a bench, 
all type of like old dirt trash and stuff so this thing has been sitting up for a while guys but you guys will see the engine it's had its better days man it's had better days that for sure but if you guys just if you guys are interested in the body it does look pretty decent i don't see anything that would tell me this will be a bad truck if you got it all fixed and run tires maybe ride it out but they do hold air seems pretty pretty decent pretty decent 97 ford mustang another manual trans oh man they hit something and i don't know this is that crazy like um, that material that you put in the back of a pickup truck why would they do that that looks so terrible it feels so terrible it has unknown mileage oh wow they might have been trying to make this thing a race car or something but they gutted out the inside for the most part. Under the dash is, is ripped up to pieces. The dash is actually ripped up to pieces. It's gone. All the trimming is gone. So this one actually might have been stolen. Um, or they was just switching everything out for a race car. But literally the whole back seat is out of there. It's nothing in the back seat. I actually hear an echo. All the paneling on this side is gone too. So... I hope they look at that car when they uh when whoever buying it because literally most of the time people just be seeing mustang and they just be bidding 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 but hey if you got the parts for something like this man that'll be pretty dope nah nah i'm just kidding i don't really like ford so i don't it won't really be dope no i really like ford let me let me go back i like ford but i don't like mustang oh chrysler's uh no 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 not a sebring yeah on me Chrysler Sebring, 154,000 miles. Actually looks really, really good here. The body looks really good. It does have that gray interior that I like. Nice gray cloth interior. It stays looking clean for the most part. The seats are pretty decent. You got the owner's manual still in there. And like everything looks good in this car. It doesn't look like this will be a bad car at all. You do have a huge stain in the back. Hopefully nobody was bleeding out back there. But I mean, it is really hot in here. So I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna walk you around to the back, big dog. Got a little sunburn on the top. A little chippage there, nothing too crazy at all. This one might've been a lift. Got the sticker there, little baby dent. Nothing too crazy. This one actually might be a pretty decent uh, Sebring. Probably go for like 13. 1300 or something i wish it had less miles so i can buy it and put it on toro all righty guys 2008 2008 hyundai uh entourage here this one has 193,000 miles pretty good looking kia though um has a little tequila kick there in the front man kia vans they actually run pretty pretty good guys i'm not even going front but man, this one's been in an accident, unfortunately. Because if you just see, hold on, I'll get to the top, I'll get to the top. But if you just see how dirty this thing is, man, they was eating policies, peanuts, and that's how they crash, being fat. Sorry to all my fat followers out there. I love my fat friends. And we joke around all the time. But anywho looks pretty whipped in here guys if you ask me so i'm sure this thing will go for like maybe 400 bucks or something like that but if, if it goes if it goes for like 400 and you can like get a uh get an airbag for it man you might be in the game because it only looked like oh you need a freaking handle here too you need a handle to open that sliding door but that looks like that's the only uh airbag that came out you're missing a mirror there you need some stuff to some trimming to replace up there but the back actually looks pretty decent seems like it's a decent car though we'll see how it runs when they go up to the auction what you guys think about the van at 193,000 miles got a 2013 kia soul here 103,000 miles the hood actually looks to be kind of scratched i don't know if you guys can see that or not um yeah this thing is gonna go for a decent price man over three grand for sure but if you guys just start in the back it smells like they had a cat up in here just all the time yeah i don't really like cats but um 
actually is a great looking car. It just really smells like a cat. But all in all, I don't see why anybody wouldn't buy it. The color is really great. I mean, you can freaking do lift in this thing and make your money back in a couple months, I guess. Seems pretty good. Tires are brand new. And it only has 103,000 miles on it. We got a 2014 Chevy Cruze, 79,000 miles. Really good looking car here, guys. Really good looking car here. This would be a great car for Turo and to make some money while we're potentially uh, sleeping, um, if you must say. But the inside looks really great in here. It is a 2014, so you know it has all the advanced features that everybody wants. But even if you don't sell it, man, you can freaking make money off this thing just from Turo. So you buy a new car under a certain amount of mileage into Turo standards and you can rent it out. Make some money, man, that's what it's all about, so. You know, that's the next step, man. Just getting something to make our money work for us. And this car looks really good, man. So, oh, I already know it drives good. We'll see what it goes for. I'm guessing like $4,200. All righty, we got a 2006 BMW 5 Series with 158,000 miles. This one actually might have been here last week and sold for, sold for like a couple grand. Now, this one is definitely different. I, remember, I would have remembered the interior on this because this interior is actually some good looking gray leather pure beamer interior like this is a real beamer right here the gray leather like i love that leather in these cars it looks really good man 156 000 miles to paint doesn't look bad got a little sunburn here and there there's the 525 but it does look really really good we take a look in the back seat here you got the uh, i believe it's the owner manual there man looks really good in this car you do got the sunroof so that's pretty fair too seems legit what do you guys think I got some boats we can go catch some crawfish we got two boats actually y'all think we can go catch some crawfish in these boats and this thing is gonna go for like 25 bucks, no lie. Got a little trailer you can haul stuff. Seems pretty fair. For me. Pop this right on the truck. Look at that insulation. All that good stuff back there. It's, pretty, it's a pretty old trailer, though, I can tell you that much. Alrighty, we got a 2007 Dodge Charger here, 141,000 miles on the dash. Tinted up, looking real nice. Oh, wow, yeah. Shined up real nice. The inside looks really, really good, guys. I don't see anything that really stands out. You guys see that side of the car? It looks really, really clean. They really did their job on this one, trying to sell it. <laughs> I can tell you that much, but does look really good. It was a smoker's car. I can still smell that cigarette, that casino smell. But the back, uh, there's nothing that really stands out in the back. Everything looks really good and intact, so nothing really more to see there. Nothing really more to see there. We got a 99 Ford Ranger here, guy. Another manual transmission. It's, it does have a little house on the back here. Does have a little house on the back. Uh, you guys can see through. Seems pretty secluded, seems pretty legit. We take a peek at the engine here. Seems like it'll be a pretty good looking car. Everything is cleaned up really nicely. So that may be decent air. And it only has 118,000 miles, guys. Oh, wow, yeah. Look at the inside of this car looks really really good guys really really good definitely was a smoker man like they just got out this car smoking that's all they was doing in this car was smoking but all in all it does look like a pretty decent truck pretty nice ranger with a little bed on the back this is a really big window so that's actually pretty decent i like that i know the saudis love this 313,000 miles man this thing been in saudi arabia and back Oh yeah, for sure this was in Saudi Arabia. They got the, the manual trans up under there going up, full 
four by four going crazy. But I mean, shoot, if you put this thing back together, man, I didn't see some crazy uh, Toyota runners, man. Got a little tequila kick there. I didn't see these things. Just search, just search these things in the freaking dunes in Saudi Arabia, dude. They be having like 2,000 horsepower going at them sand dunes. The thing sounds crazy. I mean, it's a pretty decent truck if you want to do that. But other than that, I mean, I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. That's going to be a wrap for today's video, man. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you are a subscriber already, don't hesitate to share that video and get me on your community post, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. We got a bunch of nice cars out here. So if you're wondering what these cars are going to sell for, be sure to tune in tomorrow. As always, guys, be easy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.